basically it's a lot of new people, which I really like. I like seeing faces that have never played the game before. Um, so I'm going to really try and use that to my advantage. And I already feel like the girls are going to try and do an alliance, but that's not really what I want to do. Um, I have a few people already in mind. Uh, there are a lot more gamers in this season than most seasons with the newbies. Uh, James, Ricky, Samantha, they all seem like they have some game in them, so I'm interested to see how that works out. We are at a 10 to 6 disadvantage veterans versus newbies, so I think we will have to unfortunately take out a newbie this first round in order to uh, get our numbers closer to uh, even. And I would not mind seeing James go first. Do you want to work with the vets? I think so, but my strategy is that I'm going to tell all the newbies that I really want to see a newbie win this season and that I'm okay with all the vets leaving and that I know I'm probably not going to win, but I would really like to see a newbie win to keep up the trend of the not so veteran people winning the game as what happened in the past two seasons with Heaven and Mike. There's a really good energy uh, amongst this cast and I feel like there's a lot of camaraderie but I also feel like there's a lot of gamers and I, I'm really really excited. When I was looking around I noticed that there are pretty much eight newbies and then the other eight of us if you include Cherie which I am because she's with me there are eight of us that are veterans basically so the house is split right now so it's crucial for us to stick together and maybe get one newbie out um, I, uh, it's going to be crucial for me to make relationships with a lot of these newbies um, for my own safety because some of the veterans are being stupid and running their mouth about how many seasons we've had and who's played before and who's hosted, which is not smart at all. There are some intense players, some people who have been around, and so I'm not sure how that's going to work out, but maybe they might be more physically able, but I can probably play a good social game so get people on my side and make some deals that sort of thing so that's kind of my game plan right now hi I'm Christian okay so um it's really interesting people are really competitive I was really shocked hi America I'm Nathan um, I am a aspiring music director um, I'm also gay um, we and I've started playing the Big Brother game here. I've never played this before, and it seems like there's a bunch of people who have. Uh, and I don't trust anybody so far. There's a bunch of scoundrels here. I already see people whispering, talking in different directions. Everybody's really friendly. Close the door. Yeah, there's some people who are really um, more quiet and more people who are more uh, aggressive, but so far I feel pretty good. There's maybe two that I getting a weird vibe about that I think would probably come after me. Who are those two? James, for some reason, I feel like he might come after me, and John, who is a vet, he's played the game before. I just have a weird sense of, I wouldn't be surprised if I was nominated if those two were on the um, HOH. Um, haven't really talked much to them since I've been in the house, so. Uh, my name is Cherie. I am from Winston-Salem, North Carolina. I live in High Point at this point. Um, I actually um, was a theater major at UNCG, so I am an actor. Um, currently just finished an uh, acting contract with Snow Camp Outdoor Theater uh, not too long ago. Um, did three shows, three different shows in seven weeks. Um, other than that, um, you know, I'm just super excited to be here and uh, you know, ready for a fun weekend. Hi, my name is John Mayo. Um, pretty excited for this year. I, I came in pretty nervous. Um, I know quite a few people here, so I'm excited about that. Um, I think we have a pretty good group. Um, good mixture. I really think that I'll be able to, you know, at least get, you know, further into this competition. I just have to, to sway it right. There are a lot of newbies, which is can be good or bad, just depending how you sway it. Um, I'm Marie, and I'm from Raleigh. I don't know what to think yet. Um, I haven't figured out my alliances exactly yet, but I'm trying to at least talk to everybody so that nobody can say, I'm going to evict you because I haven't really talked to you. Hey y'all, I'm Susan. Um, I'm a newbie, so this is my first year doing this. 
Um, I'm pretty excited to be here. I don't really know what to expect, but expect the unexpected. So, <laughs> um, I'm excited to get to meet everyone. Um, so far, everyone seems really nice, so that's good. But I'm also, you know, trying to like fill people out and see if I can like really trust them or not and if they would be able to help me get to the end because I want to win because, you know, that's all I do. <laughs> Dustin, you're back. I'm back. How Night before, feel? I am back. How does it feel? Uh, it's a little nerve-wracking. I'm happy to be here. I'm excited. It was kind of surprising to see Ashley again, only because, you know, the last time you hear this was not fun and I will never play this game again and then, you know, a car pulls up and who shows up but the one person that swore off the game. Um, but it's it was good to see her. I feel like Ashley and I worked really well together the last time. Um, it was really good to see Carlo. Um, Josh Hudson is here, so Josh is one of those that I'll have to look out for. And it's nice to see a lot of new faces. It gives you a chance to know new people um, see what they know about the game and see what you guys can do together. Hi, I am James. I believe I'm now in an alliance with every single person in the house, um, and I've convinced them all that I'm a great actor, so therefore no one will know that I'm in an alliance with them. Um, and I'll pretend to be in alliances with other people, but they're actually my favorite. So I think this is going to work out well. Hi, my name is Matt Hayes. Uh, it's my first time playing my first diary entry. I was really nervous all morning when I drove up. I talked to um, Ree and Ricky, and I think Ree wanted to form a pretty early alliance, but uh, wasn't super vocal, so I don't think we have... I don't know that Ricky's on board. Um, the first challenge, uh, I walked to the backyard and I saw two small swimming pools filled with ice, uh, and that was about it. Uh, so I thought maybe they would forgotten to set up a challenge, but no, <laughs> that was the challenge. We all had to crawl into these pools of ice and there were 16 of us just holding on to each other for dear life while our feet were immersed in freezing cold water uh, with ice melting all around us while our bodies were dripping sweat. It was the perfect combination of hot and cold and sweaty and smelly and disgusting. Okay, so we just got done with the first head of household competition, which was an endurance competition of sorts, where we all had to stand in a pool of ice water, and the person who was able to stand in the pool of ice water the longest, with to 30, the closest to 30 minutes without going over, was the winner. And the two pools kind of formed two separate factions immediately, uh, where uh, my pool, like, they kind of conspired to not vote each other out if one of us won. So I came up with the idea to count till we're close and then space out uh, people, where people leave the pool every 30 seconds, especially space after the other pool, so that we would have the closest chance to win the uh, head of household. The pool thing was not fun at all. Like, it was cold, and then it wasn't cold, and then we would someone would shift, and then we would be cold again. And I just didn't know what that was. And then somehow I got placed on like the bottom of the hill, so everyone's kind of like pushing on you. It was not cool. The first challenge was cold. Um, <laughs> actually, after about like two minutes of standing there, it wasn't that bad. It was at that point just trying to help collaborate with the people who were right there in the kiddie pool so that we could figure it out because I probably could have stayed in there the whole 30 minutes no problem but then it was trying to figure out numbers and how long you were there and um, I don't know trying to make trying to make some friendships but also protecting myself in that first round so I, I wish I could say it was the first time I've had a forced half hour hug but I won't talk about my childhood and I fell out at one minute and 30 seconds but it was on purpose, because number one, my feet were really cold, and number two, I did not want to win the first head of household. <sighs> I think I pulled it off and made it look believable. I even pinched my arm to make it look like I bled. <laughs> I was one of the first people to step out, just because I didn't want Josh to win, considering he fell after a few you know, seconds. Um, you think Josh threw the competition? Um, I don't think 
I'm not really sure. I, I know he hurt himself. Um, I don't know if he put, meant to do that though, but I don't think he wanted to win the first competition. So that at least. Hello, yeah. Auschus. Hello, Alan. Great. Um, <laughs> how was that first challenge? Amazing. Oh, it's cool. Oh, it's oh, it's oh, wait, do you guys want to know the first head of household? Yes. With the time of one minute, 24 seconds, Josh Hudson, you are not the new HR. <laughs> <laughs> With the time of 28 minutes and 28 seconds, Ben, you are not the new head of household. With the time of 29 minutes and 14 seconds, Susan, you are not the new head of household. With the time of 29 minutes and 22 seconds, Carlo, you are not the new oh. head of household. Oh. Girl. With a time of 29 minutes and 32 seconds, Ashley, you are the new head of household. Oh. Congratulations. I have another announcement to make. I don't know if you've looked at the memory wall yet. But this is the Summer of Secrets 2. You're all coming in with one secret, and there'll be many other secrets throughout the game. <laughs> Ashley, you'll make your nominations in one hour and 30 minutes. Do you have any idea of who you're going to nominate? You haven't talked to anyone yet, really. I mean, it's kind of hard to until you talk to people. Um, I, I, I mean, there's not that many girls, of course, so I kind of want to keep the girls around for a little while. Um, I'm still getting to know people's names. <laughs> so uh, I honestly am going to go to the people that have not already really kind of come up and try to talk to me already. But Ashley won first head of household, which could not work out better for me because she will be taking a shot first thing in the game, I do believe, because she does not care. She has some balls. Um, and who is it? Uh, Ashley? The HOH. The HOH. Yeah. Um, she, I think she's really competitive and I hope that I can jump into an alliance with her, but I don't want her to be my only alliance because I don't want her to think that I am also competitive and then vote me out because of that. So I don't know. Okay. Do you feel safe with her as HOH? Do you think she would put you up to be I evicted? I don't because in our first competition I counted and I, it was kind of like decided that okay I would count and then based on what I counted other people would step out and I said okay I'll be the first one to step out as long as you get my back later so I think at least for this round she'll be fine okay so when talking with Ashley about who to put up uh, my choices were um, Re, who is adorable and sweet and will believe anything anyone tells her which means that anyone who does turn out to be scary is going to be uh, using her however they want to she's never seen Big Brother knows nothing about the game. So she's a perfect person to manipulate. That's scary. Carlo rubs me totally the wrong way. So that's a little, um, I don't know where to put him, which puts him in my danger list. But Ashley did tell me that John is her target, which is unfortunate because John is actually someone that is in a little for foursome with me that I want to keep around. So um, working on that. So I started spreading some rumors that Carlo actually is gunning for Ashley. So hopefully I can change that mind in the next 10 minutes. When do we find out our secrets? I'm gonna tell you your secret right now. Oh. One of on. your secrets. Oh, there's more than one, okay. Now, as I told you previously, before you entered the house, you are a part of this season's twist. Yes. 
that twist is that you are not playing this game alone. You are part of this season's twist. Okay. Do you want to find out how you're part of this season's yes, twist? Yes, please, tell me. You're not playing this game alone. Okay. So, Carlo, you're not playing this game alone. Are you ready to find out about one of your secrets? Oh yeah, what is my secret? You're playing this game with a partner. Great. Please tell me it's not James. It's not James. So let me tell you that if you and your partner make it to the jury phase of this game, you'll receive a special power. A very uh, important special power. That Do I know who my partner is? I'm going to tell you who your partner is now. If you and your secret partner get to the jury portion of the game, you'll receive a special power that could change the game. Okay. Do you want to find out who your partner is? Sure. It is Reed. Okay, awesome. Are you ready to find out who that person is? Yes. It is... It is what? Nathan. Okay. Are you ready to find out who your partner is? I, I can't wait. It is Cherie. Cool, okay. That, that's gonna be awesome. Okay. I'm excited. And she's gonna know this too? I'll let her know when she comes down. Sweet, okay. I can't wait. Um, Cherie, I'm, she's somebody who I definitely wanted to work with, so... Um, I'm looking forward to taking this game by storm. Um, and by storm I mean like a really light breeze for the first day and then it'll like get to hurricane winds by the end but um anyway i can't wait to get going also are you ready to find out who your partner is yeah <laughs> it is john mayo john wait is he the one that fell out first that's josh dang it josh oh that's josh wait john is your secret partner is james does he know he does not know yet can i tell him i'll tell him when okay. he comes down here okay can you, uh, do you remind me? Do you know? Can you remind me who James he's is? He's kind of he's a tall, older man. Oh, he just was talking to me about how we're like, okay, so he could be my dad. He's forty three. Yep. Yep. So that's James. Okay. Uh, you have a secret partner. Do you know who your partner is already? I could guess based on the fear on his face. Who is it? Christian. Yes. Yes. Uh, I think this will be interesting because I think he's a big teddy bear that no one has on their radar right now. Um, it kind of changed my mind a bit because if I were a head of household, I would have no problem cutting him because I don't think that I could use him to my advantage uh, in the immediate future. But now I can. So I guess I'm ready. Your partner is Ricky. Um, that's perfect. I already have an alliance with him. Oh, so great. <laughs> that's awesome. Are you ready to find out who your partner is? I think I know who it is, but go ahead. It's <laughs> Ashley. Yeah, I'm very excited about it. When she told me that in the HOH room, I was thrilled and beyond excited about it. She's definitely the, the first person I was excited about aligning with and playing the game with, so right. very excited. Great. Do, Are you ready like to know who your partner is? I so want to know who it is. It and is. if it's a newbie, that's a genius because... Are you ready? Yes. It is Maureen. Do you even know who Maureen is? <laughs> yes, I do. She is the sweet, cute blonde with the short hair. Yes. That's, I know who you are, Maureen girl. You're not going to see this diary and get mad at me and saying I didn't know who you were. I know who you are. And we're going to do this thing, okay? Are you ready to find out who that person is? Yes. It is Susan. Okay. Do you know who that is? Yes. Any thoughts about that? Um, not particularly. I'm ready to find out who my partner is. Your partner is Matthew. Awesome. Any thoughts about Matthew? Um, I really, really like Matthew. I feel like I have seen him before. Like, I think I vaguely know him from, like, doing karaoke in Greensboro or something like that. So, I'm down with that. Um, he and I, I think we're in, actually in the same bedroom. Um, and he's someone that I actually want to, to have conversations with. Alright, how do you feel about that? I feel good about that, because uh, Ben's played a little bit, and okay. So, it would be to my advantage to try to get Ben and I as far as we can. Your partner is Josh Hudson. Which one is Josh? Josh. What, what's Josh wearing again? He fell out first in a competition. Great! It's not good. Do you have any thoughts on Josh at all? It's not good. I think that's where the thing's headed right now. <clears throat> so, probably won't be getting a prize. Why? Why do you say that? Because of Josh? Okay. Because I feel that's what Ashley's going for. Your partner is Samantha. Wait, 
Oh, fuck. Oh, oh God. I was, I was gonna get her out this round or try to. Okay. Okay. So how do you feel about that? I like her. And now she won't come after me. So that's good. She seems like a gamer. <laughs> um, this is a nomination ceremony. One of my duties as head of household is to nominate two people for eviction. So we begin by pulling the first key to that person to say. Then that person will pull the next key, and so on and so forth. Um, Susan. Can you pull it? Name, you are safe. Ashley has nominated John Mayo and Christian. Please take a seat. Um, so I nominated you both because um, John, I feel like you're a really strong player in the game. You scare me a little bit. So. <laughs> okay. um, and I feel that. Christian, you're just learning your way into the game. Um, so I just I haven't had a really good feeling either way. So, good or bad. I'm on the block for uh, after the first uh, HOH, so that kind of sucks. Um, I'm up against Christian. If I have to act like a little bitch anymore, I'm getting murdered myself. Okay? The goal was to act like I don't know anything, so I wouldn't get put on the block. Now I'm on the block. I don't I don't know what to do because everyone keeps telling me you're fine, you're fine, you know, it's you're a pawn, you're a pawn, you're a pawn, you know. But it's just to get John, is that his name? Out of the way. And that's cool. And like why I'm so nervous about it, I just I have trouble believing that because he's like owning the room. It seems like everyone's on his side. Regardless of like whether they say or not, I just feel like they're on his side. 